when the Washington Post first broke a story about President Trump disposing of notes from an informal meeting with President Putin on the sidelines of the 2017 G20 summit in Hamburg, the implication, at least, for those who didn't read too far past the headline, was clear. Trump deliberately disposed of notes from the meeting that had been taken by aides and translators, leaving senior members of his administration in the dark about what had been said between the two leaders. Why would he do this if he didn't have something to hide? It wasn't until much lower in the story that WAPO added some crucial context since the meeting happened so soon after a series of embarrassing leaks about comments made by Trump to Russian officials in the Oval Office, Trump likely disposed of the notes as a precaution against leaks. And rather than there being no record of the conversation, the Kremlin almost certainly kept records of its own that, presumably, could be released at its discretion. Trump swiftly responded that he couldn't care less if details from the conversation became public. He added that these types of informal meetings happened all the time and were no big deal. The story quickly faded from view. But in the middle of an already crowded news cycle, the Financial Times published on Tuesday a follow-up Trump met with Putin at the G20 meeting in Buenos Aires last month without any aides or note-takers present, once again leaving no official record of what was said. As a matter of fact, the meeting between the two leaders had been briefly reported by the Argentine press, but aside from the timing, the paper said the meeting went for more than 10 minutes and was more than a quick greeting. Putin was accompanied by staff, Trump was joined only by Melania. The conversation reportedly lasted for only a few minutes, and was described as one of several informal chats that Trump had that night with foreign leaders before he joined Chinese President Xi Jinping for a dinner where the two agreed to a temporary trade truce. The two leaders had been planning a formal meeting at the summit, but it was cancelled at the last minute as tensions flared over as the Kerch Strait crisis flared. Mr. Trump was accompanied by Melania Trump, his wife, but no staff, while Mr. Putin was flanked by his translator. The four of them sat at a table and were among the last to leave. The White House has acknowledged the two leaders met in Buenos Aires, after Mr. Trump cancelled formal bilateral talks following Russia's November attack on three Ukrainian naval vessels in the Azov Sea. Mr. Trump's aides characterized the Putin encounter as one of several informal conversations that Mr. Trump had with his counterparts that evening. The accounts of people familiar with the conversation said it appeared longer and more substantive than the White House has acknowledged. According to a Russian government official's account, the two leaders spoke for about 15 minutes about a number of foreign policy issues, including the Azov Sea incident and the conflict in Syria. They also discussed when they could have a formal meeting, the official said. The FT report was relatively scant on detail, it included no information about what had been discussed, other than vague foreign policy issues, including the Kerch Strait incident. The FT identified its sources as anonymous Russian officials. According to a Russian government official's account, the two leaders spoke for about 15 minutes about a number of foreign policy issues, including the Azov Sea incident and the conflict in Syria. They also discussed when they could have a formal meeting, the official said. Mr. Trump explained that a full meeting with Mr. Putin was impossible at the time, and the Russian leader responded by saying he was not in a hurry and remained ready to meet when it suited Mr. Trump best, the Russian official said. Though the FT did speculate that reports of the meeting could trigger new alarm bells about Trump's relationship with Russia at a time when the Mueller probe was heating back up, seemingly ignoring the fact that the meeting had already been reported. For what it's worth, the FT sources said the absence of any aides present with Trump was the result of different norms between the U.S. and Russia. When Putin is somewhere, his people are there, always, the official said. There is a someone from his side with him at all times, until he goes to bed. With the Americans it is different. The advisors, the aides, they don't always stick around outside official meetings. The person said, cue the reports about how Mueller will need to extend his investigation to look into these meetings and get to the bottom of what exactly was said between the two leaders.